Hey guys, Rory coming at you live from Rockingham in Western Australia. We're going for a full-on burger tour today of Rockingham. We're going to go to Boston Burgers and we're going to go to Caveman Barbecue. We're going to try a couple of burgers. We were going to go to Rocky Burgers on the foreshore, but unfortunately they are not open, which sucks. Anyway, we're going to do what we can do and we'll bring you the best burgers of Rockingham in Perth, Western Australia. Hey guys, we're coming at you from Rockingham with my good old mate, Uncle Tim. Howdy. All my students have said, oh, I want to hear about Uncle Tim. So here, here he is. I am. He's alive. In He's the real. Flesh. He's real. He's not just a story. We've been to Caveman Barbecue in Rockingham. Yep. And we're going to review a burger. What do we get? What burger do we, we get? We got a Canadian maple bacon. Maple bacon burger and chips, of course. Yes, and chips. Do you want to show us, the, show us the goods? Right oh, here. Well. these delicious goods here. The chips are, I have been to Caveman Burger before. But I don't think I have, have had this burger. I've only been once, here we, here never we have tried this burger. Chips. Can't see the camera, so I'm just actually hoping that it's still on because we had a bit of a fumble with some batteries. <laughs> some idiot forgot to charge yeah, the batteries. Yeah, got to charge it. Definitely got bacon in it. Maple yeah, it's definitely bacon. got bacon in it. Maybe uh, some <laughs> maple. Read that to us, Tim. All right, so we have, so this is the maple bacon. So it's gluten free as well that comes in. And we have American cheeseburger with a Canadian twist. So it's dry aged beef smashed patty with maple bacon, double cheese, pickles, ketchup, mustard, and served with a side of chips, which is what we have in front Sounds of us today. Sounds good. Well, we got, we got it cut in half because we've got to have half each. Yep. We've got a table in front of us. We've got the old trolley that we yeah, drank from yeah. the shops. Uh, the old trusty <laughs> trolley. <laughs> Not sponsored by Woolworths. <laughs> no. Nah. And uh, yeah, we got half each, so grab your half yep. and we'll do the old cheers. To be fair, looking at it, we got the cross section here straight away. And you yep. can see the cross section. And you can definitely see the bacon. You can see right the bacon, here. the Beautiful. patty, the cheese. I don't know, everything looks uniformly spread across the burger, which is what you want. Yep. Anyway, cheers, mate. Let's give cheers. it a shot. All right, here's a verdict. You got it up here, mate. Mm -hmm. You're wearing it. Oh, it's like good, I want to wear it. You know that like, I was going to sound like the most retarded thing to say. You know your like classic like cheeseburger taste? You know you yep. get the double cheese, double bacon cheeseburger pizza from Domino's? Yep. That's what it tastes like, I reckon. Okay. 100%. I yeah. can taste the bacon, like the maple bacon. It's kind of sweet. Definitely afterwards right. you get that um, that smoky, mm. that, that definitely smoky taste as well. Yeah, definitely. And, and I, I feel the sauces are a bit richer than, mm. uh, than, than the others. I like the can, bum. I like the black sesame on the top of the bun. It's nice. The bun is nice. It's really thin, so you're not getting heaps of bread. If you watch It's All Eats by Spanion, good old shout out to Spanion on YouTube, he complains about too much bread. But there's not a lot of bread there, so you're getting all the filling. You're not actually getting a lot of bread. Yeah, and these are a, uh, it's not your normal bun either. I think it's a nah. uh, brioche. I think it is, yeah, brioche, it's nice. Brioche bun. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's not your classic white bread. It's, it's definitely different this one's actually yeah it's got a slightly yellow tinge to it so it's a different kind of dough that they use yeah it's it's a bit more like savory it's not very, it's not sweet or and like I said there's not heaps of dough there so you're not or you're not just eating eating bread my yeah. only complaint about it is the burger's small like two bites and that's all that's left I know it's only half a burger but mm. it's got to savor it if you know what's good I really like the sauce. The sauce, I don't know, what do you reckon the sauce is? It's like a, well, it tastes uh, pickles, but well, there's like a... It's probably a, um, a barbecue sauce with, um, probably, uh, I, I believe maple bacon is bacon that's cooked with maple syrup, so Canadian maple bacon, because they like to do that with their, their breakfasts in the morning. They, um, I don't know if you've ever done it, but... I've done it before. Yeah, yeah, cook, cook ba bacon yeah. with maple syrup, and or if you don't have maple syrup, you can you can sprinkle a little bit of uh, raw sugar on there, and yeah, it caramelizes quite nicely. It's quite good. So I go. think a bit of that with the mustard and tomato sauce, and with the pickles gives it its mm. gives it its. It's a nice balance of good. flavors. Yeah, it's, like it's, nothing's it's, it's overpowering. It's quite rich as well, but it's not yeah. overpowering. It's because it's it's not overflowing like uh, some of the other 
burger places we know of. Um, it's, yeah, the, the smaller it is, makes it more enjoyable because it's not too much. This bloke ripped me off. He got the better half. He got more in his half. I got yeah, I, I got I the had half a, with nothing in I it. I had a big piece of bacon sticking yeah, out. Yeah, he, he chose a, a cheeky bugger. He's, he got the best bit. We got the old chips. We got some sort of what do you reckon that is? Pepper? I don't know. Some sort of seasoning on the on the chip. Well, it's definitely a seasoning of what's in it. Who knows? I have no idea. Anyway, we'll give the old chip a go. Hmm. They're good chips, man. Yeah. They're like soft, fluffy, they're not oily. I don't know if they fry them. Maybe they like air fry them or bake them. They taste like baked chips. They don't taste like fried, oil fried chips. Um, and that seasoning, it's definitely like some sort of chicken salt or something. And I'd say it's been normal salt with some seasoning. It's like paprika. I can taste like paprika, like something sweet. It's almost like a sweet kind of spice. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I can definitely tell you this would be in, enough sodium intake for the day. <laughs> in but, one chip. In one chip, but, <laughs> uh, but they're, they're, they're pretty tasty. Yeah, not gonna lie, they're crunchy too. But they're not oily. Yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah, not oily is, I think, uh, is a winner for me. Because I don't definitely. like to eat chips that are, that are starchy. These don't seem starchy. No. Ah. They're, they're quite nice. I don't want any more oil. Who knows what my, my cholesterol is like, but after doing yeah. all these reviews. Yeah, any more chips and the uh, US government might be st start invading. <laughs> <laughs> they, they might be they might be putting an oil rig on my face <laughs> yeah caveman barbecue in Rockingham yeah final verdict burger to me was it was alright but it's definitely not the best burger I've ever had I've had better burgers from caveman barbecue before yeah the chips are good these are like these are probably one of the best chips I've ever had which not, knocks it up a couple of heck. I reckon I'd go 8 out of 10 I reckon caveman eight barbecue out of ten. I don't know if you differ from me so my verdict would be I also have somewhat agreements with I have had better burgers uh, at caveman as well but I think the size uh, really is dependent on what burger you get because I know that the cheese burger is quite big. And the, and the fluster cluck as well. I yeah. remember that was a lot bigger. The chicken burgers are quite big. So it's really dependent on, on which burger you actually get, um, which will determine the kind of size. These um, are Moorish, I can't stop eating them. Yeah, yeah they're good, <laughs> aren't they? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I would probably stick around the, uh, the, the eight as well because it's not too much. I mean, with half a burger, uh, it's not, I, I don't feel like I've over eaten and it's actually quite enjoyable, so. You reckon uh, eight? Yeah, I reckon an eight, I'm gonna stick right. with an eight. We both, we both gave an eight, so that's yeah, good. I think that's pretty good. Anyway, we'll show you our fucking little setup so you can you can have a, have a gaze at this one. <laughs> we got the old, we got the old trolley going there. Yep, that's our got table. Our Uncle Tim chilling, got the camera gear. Got the nice scenery in the background. Check out that, mate, that's what you want. Yeah. Guys, Caveman Barbecue, they actually gave us serviettes or napkins, whatever you want to call them. Good on them. So many places don't give these to me. How can you do food reviews if you don't have these? If I've got it all over my face, or Uncle Tim's got it all over his hands, how are you supposed to clean it up if you're in a yeah. park? I mean, if it's all over my hands, do I then wipe it on my face? And then when yeah. it's on my face, do I'm going to get some like, grass, piece of bark, yeah. and wipe oh, it off. Yeah, oh, yeah. Get the seagull over there to wipe it off for me. Hey, yeah. mate. Just, just use his neck. Ooh. Anyway, good on you for giving us... Serviettes. Yeah, serviettes is always a bonus. Hey guys, Rory coming at you with a message and exclusive offer from this video's sponsor, Private Internet Access. Now what a VPN is, is a VPN is an application that you can use on a phone, tablet or computer or any other device which helps to encrypt your information. So from time to time if you find yourself traveling like I do and you're in a coffee shop or restaurant or airport or airport lounge on a open public Wi-Fi, often your information is unencrypted and not safe from government agencies, hackers, and anyone else who wants to access your data and your information. So what you can do with private internet access is you can connect up to servers from 84 different countries and you connect to the server and then it protects your information. So you can also use a VPN to access content in other countries such as America or the UK, to watch shows on Netflix or from using other applications. So once you've connected to the VPN, it's as simple as you just leave it and off you go. So private internet access also doesn't use logs, which have shown from time and time again going through court that they don't keep anyone's logs or public data. So if you use my code, which is www privateinternetaccess.com forward slash Rory's Ramblings or you use the 
link that's in the description box below and comment section below. You can get 83% off your subscription with private internet access, which is about $2.79 Australian a month. And you can also get your first four months for free with a 30 day money back guarantee. So I use this for six years and I also use this when I began living in China a few years ago and I'm still using it today. So highly recommend it and get amongst the offer guys. All right, I just been to Boston Burgers. I lost Tim along the way. He's on the bus somewhere. He's probably doing donuts around Rockingham. Anyway, went to Boston Burgers. Good start, they gave me a bag. I've seen my other reviews, you know that I like a good bag from a takeaway place. Anyway, before we even get into the food, I haven't been to Boston Burgers for ages. The last time I went was when I was still living here. So maybe like well, 18 months ago, maybe over a year ago. Anyway, I went there and they've completely changed the store around. The menu's on a different side and we orders on a different side, but the place was pumping, man. There were people in there. I know it's dinner time, but people, there's just people everywhere. Uber Eats guys in and out. Big family school holidays, but yeah, pumping. Anyway, I just realized my room's home, so don't, don't worry about that because I'm flying off to Tassie on Monday, so I'm sorting out all my stuff. But anyway, went in there. The bloke was really nice. He called me sir. Really respectful. The only people that usually call me sir are students at school. I mean, some of them call me mister. Most of them call me sir. And he called me sir. So it's really nice. Really respectful. Great service. Excellent service. It didn't take very long. He said it'd take 20 minutes. It took just under 20 minutes. I didn't know what to order. There were so many different things, but I got a Aussie Bush Ranger. I thought I was going to do a chicken burger, and they had like a smash burger. I, have, I don't think I've had a smash burger before, apart from one I've made. Yeah, I decided to get this instead, because I mean, it's an Aussie burger, and any people who are not Aussie watching, we can see what's in an Aussie burger. And they also got chips. I got chips. And, of course, they didn't give me serviettes. Boo! They lose a point for not giving me serviettes. Dude, just take away order, and I'm a YouTuber, dude. Come on, what are you doing? Give me serviettes and napkins. Anyway, like I said, Aussie Bush Ranger. I'm kind of glad I walked there, actually. It was a really nice evening, so I took a, took a stroll there. I'm glad I did, because um, I'm going to put on a lot of calories with this, but anyway. It's wrapped up nicely. I like that. You know, you go to fast food places, like when I went to Hungry Jack's and Macca's, like sometimes they're wrapped up, but usually they just fall out the wrapper. Like this is properly wrapped up. There it is. And like the other bun before from Caveman Burgers, this has got black sesame on top as well. And this bun must be a thing. This bun doesn't look, doesn't look very thick. I'm not sure if it's a homemade job or if they've bought it. I have no idea, but. It looks like the other bun. Like I said with Tim, when I was with Tim earlier at Caveman Burgers, if you have a burger and it's just bread, now you're gonna taste this bread and not much filling, but this just doesn't look like it's much bread. It's like pretty thin. Anyway, without further ado, what do we got in this thing? We got two patties, I got a double. He asked me single, double, triple, I got double. It's got beetroot, of course. You can't have an Aussie burger without beetroot. It's got egg, can't have an Aussie burger without egg. Got lettuce, tomato, oh, bacon. Gotta have a bit of bacon. Barbecue sauce, I can't figure out what it is. I think there's pickles in it too. Let's give it a shot. The old Aussie Bush Ranger from Bloody Burgers. I forgot the name of the place for a second. Let's go. Mm. That's a really nice burger, hey. I have another bite. Like I said before, don't do food reviews when you're hungry and I'm starving. Anyway, one more bite. Right, here's the verdict. Like I said about the bun, it's like the perfect th thickness of a bun. Like it's enough to obviously be a vessel to hold everything. You don't get heaps of bread flavor. And it's a nice like savory sort of bread. And the beetroot's really nice, gives it that like acidic beetrooty taste. No, that wasn't a really way to describe it, but it's bacon's done well. It's like a little bit, it's not quite overcooked, but it's a bit more than like two minutes on each side. It's got a bit of, it's a bit crispy. It's a nice crispy bacon. The patties are really nice, they're like, I don't know if you can see, now we've got a bit of a cross section, but the patties are nice and thick. Nice and juicy, medium rare patties. Lots of flavor, a big beefy meaty flavor, really nice. The lettuce, ah, oh, the lettuce is nice, but my only issue is there's not much in here. But I mean, anyway, the tomato is really nice. Again, bit of a city kick. Um, the egg is nice. Um, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, the egg's really nice. I like the egg, it's not oozing. I mean, I like my eggs cooked on both sides. I don't like my eggs oozing yolk. Some people do, um, but I don't. So eggs cooked to my choosing, which is good. The only issue is, I'm gonna say this, like you guys know, I like sauce in a burger. 
you've seen enough of these videos now probably, maybe you haven't. If you haven't, I like sauce in a burger. Not like dripping sauce, like some I've had before, <clears throat> Hungry Jacks, but I like, you know, you want sauce, you want to be able to taste it. This, they've barely put any sauce on it. I mean, I can taste it, but it's like that much of a subtle flavor, you may as well not put it on there. Anyway, I tried to order a milkshake too, but he said he ran out of cups. How do you run out of takeaway? I mean, uh, yeah, fair enough. Maybe he's getting smashed, but surely you can go and get some more cups. Or just have a big stash. But anyway, disappointed because I couldn't get a milkshake. Mm. That's a good burger. It's just a shame there's not much sauce on it. Anyway, moving on to the chips. Now, before Caveman, I said they were like the best chips. Now I've had a sneaky preview of these on the way home, but anyway, these chips are fresh, they're hot, they've got seasoning on them. I'm not sure if they're fried or not. It's hard to tell, but anyway, we'll give it a shot. Oh, these are good chips. They're different to the caveman ones. But the seasoning's similar. There's something on it. And they had it on the caveman chips too. I don't know what it is. There's some like, if anyone knows, let me know in the comment section below. There's some bloody... <sighs> like, the seasoning is different to the caveman chips, but there's definitely something. It's like a sweet, almost like a sweet sort of flavour that's on it. I don't know if it's sweet paprika. I don't know if that's it. There's something on it that was 100% on the caveman chips earlier today. And I just don't know what it is, but it tastes so good. I just want to eat them all. But yeah, like I said, chips are good, hot, fresh. They're not as soft and fluffy inside, but they're still soft and fluffy inside. Crispy on the outside, which is what you want. I'm not sure if they're fried or baked. I think they're baked as well. The ones at Caveman definitely were, but I think these ones are too. They're not dripping in oil and they're not greasy. Burger was really tasty, besides there not being much sauce. The chips are really good. The service was excellent. The service was fast. I got it in 20 minutes, which is pretty good for a pump and gourmet burger place busy on a Friday night. Sorry, Saturday night. And yeah, that's, and it was good food. So nine out of 10. Stay curious, stay adventurous and keep exploring.